Mr. Peterson. Uh, this is the tape that uh, you've asked me to make for my playing days in 1944 with the Jamestown Ball Club. Uh, I know you realized that that was 50 years ago, and uh, sometimes um, uh, my uh, recollection of the past years may not be too good, but anyway, here we go. My, my name is Joe Ginsburg and I was in a catcher in the big leagues for 13 years. Uh, but when I was in Jamestown uh, in 1944, I was sharing the catching duties with a player by the name of Eddie Modarski, who also was from the Detroit area, as well as I was. And uh, that is sort of unusual, that two young fellows that came to the Detroit organization and were sent to Jamestown, and we were both from uh, the Detroit area. Eddie went on to have some pretty good years with the Buffalo Bisons in the International League, and I went on to catch 13 years in the Major Leagues, as I said. But some of my recollections of my first year in Jamestown, I want to say that that was probably the nicest thing that ever happened to a 17-year-old boy, was traveling around by station wagon, traveling around the country, rather, by station wagon, and sometimes by bus, we all were just about 17 or 18 years old, so that was quite an experience for us all. At that time, um, we were called uh, the Pony League. Uh, pony mean, meaning um, Pennsylvania, Ontario, and New York. Some of the towns that were in the league were uh, Bradford, Lockport, Erie, Jamestown, of course, uh, and uh, the other teams seem to escape me at this moment, but uh, I'll probably think of them later in the tape, maybe. When we were uh, when we were in Jamestown for a home stand, any um, any length of time for a week or ten days, all of us lived in the YMCA. Hundred uh, dollars a month. And uh, between the room rent and the meals and things like that, we made out pretty good except around um, the first, right before the first, and that was payday, I'd have to write home and uh, Dad would send me $10 at a time so we could make it until payday. Also, I remember when we were on the road. Uh, we were on the road for 10 uh, days at a time. Uh, our meal money was $2.50 a day, and uh, it seemed at that time that was okay because being that we were all young fellas, uh, we ate hamburgers and hot dogs and we all had enough to eat and things were just fine, but we'd have to play sometimes double headers on that, uh, and we all made out okay. It never really bothered us that uh, as far as the food goes, we had enough to eat. At that time, Jamestown uh, was in the Detroit farm system, and most of the players down there were from uh, were signed with the Detroit Tigers and then sent to different minor leagues. Uh, Jamestown being Class D, uh, most of us, as I said, were um, really the younger group of players that were signed by the Tigers. Uh, Jamestown had a working agreement with the Philadelphia Athletics at the time, and that's how we came to have uh, Nellie Fox, who probably was one of the best second basemen of all time in the American League. Nelly was with the uh, Athletics at the time, and he was sent down to Jamestown by uh, the legendary Connie Mack, who said at one time that Nelly would probably be one of the best center fielders they ever had when he grows up. But Nelly got to be more than five foot seven or eight, and did wind up at second base, being one of the best second basemen in the American League. I recall the. Uh, People of Jamestown knew that uh, we were all just young fellas, uh, kids really, and they would all, in uh, people of Jamestown, would invite most of the ball players uh, to dinner at their homes, and most of us accepted those invitations because, as I said, on two dollars and fifty cents a day, uh, we really didn't uh, have uh, enough. And we were, when we were invited out, we all seemed to accept that invitation. I will always remember uh, that year in 1944 in Jamestown, New York, my first year in professional baseball. Uh, I remember it because that really shaped my major league career, and as I said, if it wasn't for Jamestown, I probably would not have played in the big leagues for 13 years. 
Well, Mr. Peterson, I guess that's about all. Uh, it doesn't seem like that's enough for uh, 50 years, but um, I hope that this tape will, uh, will suffice and that uh, many of the people that were around in 1944 will recall uh, the catcher is uh, Joe Ginsburg that played there in 1944, and uh, and if there is anyone uh, that would like to um, uh, see us, uh, my wife and I would love to travel to Jamestown. If there's if there's any way that we can ever get there, we will definitely come and maybe say hello to some of the people that we knew back then. Thank you very much for asking me to make this tape, and uh, I remain Joe Ginsburg the 1944 catcher of the Jamestown Ball Club. Thank you very much, and goodbye.